Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I love all things handbag related with a little bit of emphasis on the brands Vera Bradley and Lug. I also occasionally, but very rarely, do some content related to concealed carry and how that works with all of these beautiful bags that I love. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around and let's hang out. Speaking of, I just realized that over 60% of y'all that are watching my channel are not subscribed. What are you doing? You need to subscribe because like we're super cool here. Come hang out with us. <laughs> so today's video is decluttering round three. As always, all the bags will be listed in the description box below in order of their number shown on screen. Prices will be out from each individual bag. Everything is included, shipping, any kind of fees, any of that. If you're interested, my email will be listed right above all of the items in the description box. So just email me, let me know what you're interested in. As long as it's still available, I'll give you my PayPal, you send the money and I'll ship it out to you. If you are outside of the U.S. and there's something you're interested in, then feel free to email me and I will do the best that I can for you. But international shipping is super expensive for some reason. So I'll do the best that I can for you, but I don't know. I, I just don't know. So if you're interested, like I said, feel free to email me and we'll try to figure out something. If you have any questions about any of these bags, again, feel free to email me. Ask me anything that you want to. I will do my best to show you all of the details and all of that during this video. I also got a different light for these videos, so let me know if things look a little bit better now or if you can't really notice any difference. So I think there are about 15 different items that I have this time. The majority are, of course, Lug and Vera Bradley, so I'm going to start with the other stuff and get that kind of out of the way first. So the first one for sale, if you saw my first Timu haul, is this little bag. And if you saw my first Timu haul, you will know that this is not real. Look, no shade, no none of that to anybody that wants to carry one of these or a bag like this or you know what I'm saying. It's just First and foremost, this is too small for me. Like, I just won't carry it. It's too small. But, again, this is not real, so keep that in mind. So, this is a Mark Jacobs snapshot camera bag in the black with the orange and the, like, cream. I have never used it. It does say the Mark Jacobs across the top. And then it also comes with the strap that says Mark Jacobs. But again, this is not real, so just keep that in mind. It has the regular J logo on the front. It is just one big open pocket in there, but you do have two zipper entries to it. On the back, there is a very slim little slip pocket. Other than that, it's a super simple little bag. It's cute. I just know I'll never use it because it's way too small for me. So, this is the first item. The Marc Jacobs, snap Jacobs Snapshot Camera Bag, I think, is what this is supposed to be. These next three, I'm going to kind of show you together, and I'll probably just price them all together as one kind of bundle or group but if you are interested in just one of these as opposed to all three then that's fine just email me so this first one is a Steve Madden I think this is called their Terra bag and this one is in a gray with gunmetal hardware and details so it is just a magnetic snap bag but it does have the little lock that hangs there. And on this one, there is a little pen mark right there, if you can see it. It's super faint, and it's hard to see, but it is there, and it's under the flap. So, it comes with a completely removable strap that has 
the chain detail at the bottom and then the faux leather across the top for comfort. And this is kind of a weighty, chunky chain. Like, this is not cheap plastic by any means. Inside, you get two slip pockets and a zip pocket along the back. And it also comes with this little, kind of like the coach hang tags, but this one just says Steve Madden, if you want to put it on there. I never did. And then... On the back, you have another magnetic slip pocket, and then the top little grab handle. There's no corner where there are no other issues that I have seen. This little lock is a little bit scratched up, I'm sure, just from, you know, I mean, it moves around. So, that one's a little bit scratched up, but not bad or anything like that. As I said, no corner wear. And this material for a faux leather is super soft and kind of plushy and malleable. The next piece in this grouping is a Gianni Bernini wristlet. So the wristlet is removable. It has the little, uh, like the little dog leash clip on it. So you can take that on and off if you want. And I'll be honest with you, this wristlet is super cool. I just never use it. So it's got a ton of different sections. You have a magnetic snap right here. And then you have a slip pocket and then another big slip pocket. And in this one, you get like a little zip ID. So on this side, it has an ID slip. The back side has another slip. And then you have a full zip pocket across the top. And that's hooked on to this little kind of key leash part but again that one has one of the little dog leash clips where you can completely remove it so under that flap you have one slip pocket and then a larger slip pocket and the way that they've made this it has these little pleats that go down each side so you can fill this up and it it'll hold an absolute ton okay so that's the two front pockets and those have a magnetic snap that goes over it. Then if you look at the top, you'll see there's another magnetic snap pocket in the middle. Directly behind that, you have a large zip pocket. And then behind that, you have another magnetic slip pocket. Slip and zip. I'm getting them all mixed up. But it's just, it's a wristlet. It's cute. It's got a little bit of a different shape with that kind of rounded bottom that it has to it. It just has a ton of pockets. Like I said, you can really fill this up if that's what you want to do. It is in kind of a signature, like a silky filling fabric. I don't know what you would call it, but it's in good condition. No issues with this one. And then the last one in this kind of little bundle is a Coach Demi bag. So it has a little hang tag on here. And there is one little spot on this one that I'm going to show you. It's like right here, if you can see that. It's just like a little rub mark, I think. But this leather is so shiny that literally it you don't even notice it. So the coach emblem is right here across the top. Again, you have the hang tag off the side. And this strap has one of those giant dog leash clips so you can remove the strap on this side. I don't know why you would, but you can. Along the back, you have a um, full zip pocket. And that zipper is a little bit... It's not hard to zip. I mean, it zips fine. But it's just a little bit, like, stiff, if that makes sense. There's no wear on the corners. They're totally fine. They look good. And then the main bag is very slim, but you get two pockets. So along the back side, you have a little slip. And then along the front side, you have a zip. And then the coach creator emblem is on the inside of this one so again i am just going to list all three of these as one little 
bundle, but if you want one specific piece and you don't want the other two, then that's fine. Feel free to email me and we'll figure it out. Okay, now let's do lug next. So the first lug item that I'm letting go of is my Coop XL in the vegan leather. So this one comes with its dust bag and I do have any removable straps that come with these. I do have them. They're all in perfect condition. No issues with those. I just haven't dug all of them back out yet because I store my straps separately. So this is the leather, not leather, the vegan leather Coupe XL in the Navy. And the strap that comes with this one is in the traditional nylons. And it's in that pattern. The I think it was called like pop plaid maybe. I'm not sure. But it's in this um, blue and green type pattern. So if you're familiar with the Coupe XL, you know this front pocket is just one large open section, no additional organization in this one. And then this back pocket is where you get a zipper pocket along the back side and a little ID slip along the front. I've never used this. I purchased it from someone else and I don't think she had ever used it. She just removed the tags and threw them away. So this one is in perfect condition, no issues, no wear. I don't think it's ever been used. And it does have those belt loops on the back in case you want to make it a belt bag. So that one's perfect. The next lug item is my schooner set. So... I took the tags off of this because I was going to try to use it for something, but I didn't end up actually using it. <laughs> so the tags are right down in there. All three pieces are here. So there's the largest set. No wear, no issues, nothing inside. The middle piece. is your plastic lined piece. Again, no wear, no issues. And then your smaller pouch, which still has the styrofoam in it. And again, there's the tags that went with it. I just cut them off and then stuck them in there. So, like I said, this one has never been used. Well, none of these pieces have ever been used. They're just, I don't know what to do with them. I've had these for quite a while, and y'all know I love my pouches, but I've literally never come up with a use for these. Um, so, I don't see any point in hanging on to them, because they are pretty large. They will hold an absolute ton, and without knowing what to do with them, they're kind of just taking up space. So, my schooner set's the next one to go. Oh, and this is in the resort black, I think. Yeah. Resort black. The next lug item I'm letting go of is another one of my sliders. So this one is in, I believe this was called Berry Purple. And I love the slider. It is a fantastic bag style. It does have that kind of triangular shape. So it will hold a really decent amount. It tapers up at the top so that it lays nicely against your body. Has really good organization. It's not overdone. So you get your soft line cell phone pocket at the top. And then you get two really nice zip pockets on the front. This one, the bigger one on the top, is where you have your RFID protection in there. And then the bottom one is just a more shallow pocket. You can put whatever you want in those. Again, I do have the strap that goes with this one. I just haven't pulled it out, but it has no issues. I've only used this bag once. Along the back, you get another really large pocket that goes all the way across. And then on that side, you have two pen slips. You get four feet on the bottom. 
and that was just a fuzz. So again, I'll show you the corners. No wear, no issues. Again, this one's in perfect, like new condition. If you get into the inside, the main interior of the bag, you get a lot of great room. So against the front wall, you have one of the clear view zip pockets right there. On the back, you get two really nice sized cargo pockets with the elastic along the top edge. And then right here in the corner is your elastic key bungee. So again, perfect condition, no issues, no stains, no wear, nothing. So that's the lug slider in berry purple. Uh, this next lug kind of breaks my soul a little bit. But this is my trolley crossbody two in lime. I adore this lime color. I think it is so bright and so fresh and so fun. And I, I adore it. I genuinely adore this color. But this bag style just doesn't work for me, you guys. Like, as much as I try to make it work... I have held on to this bag for dear life trying to make it work for me and I just can't. So for those of y'all that can make this work, I'm super envious of you. I used this once and it was for about two hours. So again, this one is in like new condition, no issues, no stains, no wear, nothing. It's, it's brand new basically so across the front here you have one really large zip pocket and inside of it you have your built-in wallet with the cash drawer and all of the card slots they are RFID protected on the back side of this large pocket you have another zip pocket and then directly above that you get your signature soft lined cell phone pocket on each end, there is a zipper pocket that I will show you if I can get a hold of the zipper. Just a little zip pocket that you get on each end. On the back, you have one long zip pocket. No additional organization in there. It is just one large zip pocket. It's the entire back panel of the bag. And then, oh, let me take the styrofoam out. This one still has the strap in it because, like I said, I only used it once. So on the inside, against the front wall of the bag, you have a clear view zip pocket. And I just stuck the tag down in there so the tag is still with it. On the back side, you have two cargo pockets, and then on this end, you have your key bungee. So, that is the trolley crossbody two in lime. Excellent condition, and I'm really kind of sad to see this one go because I love this super bright, pretty green. This one, again, is another one that... I'm kind of unsure about letting go of, but I really need to because I have like six of these at this point. And I have like four other bags in this gorgeous violet color. And this one is getting neglected because I tend to use my smaller bags in my violet. So this is the Lug Tenor in the violet color. I used this once. So again, it is in perfect condition. There are no issues, no wear, no stains. There's nothing. This bag is perfect. On the back, I don't know why I started on the back, but on the back you get a huge zipper pocket and right here, if you can see them, are two little pen slip pockets. I know they blend in pretty good so they're a little bit difficult to see, but they're there. On the top, you get your two little grab handles, and then on the front, you have your softline cell phone pocket that is vertical. Now, 
this set did come with a pouch, but I cannot find the pouch that goes with this one. So, if you want a pouch to go with this one, I'll put two different prices down in the description box for this bag. The lower price will be for just the bag itself without the pouch. But if you want one of the tenor pouches to go with this one, then I have one in either black or the resort black that I can send with this one if you really want it. So I'll put the price with the pouch and the price without the pouch in the description box. But I do have the strap and everything that goes with it. The strap is brand new because I never even used it. So on the inside of this one, I still have the little card and the tags. I still have everything that went with it. So against the front wall here, you get a large clear view zip pocket. And then in this corner, if you can see them right here, there are two RFID protected card slots. And then on the back side of the bag right here, you have your key bungee and two cargo pockets that are soft lined on the front side of them. So they have that soft lining on the front. Again, this bag is in perfect condition. No issues, no wear, no staining, nothing. So again, I will put the two different prices in the description box if you want a pouch with it or if you would prefer it just as it is the bag only without the pouch. But again, the pouch will not be in the violet color. It will be either the solid black pouch or the resort black pouch if you want it. Because I can't find the purple one and I don't know what I did with it. But that's the lug tenor in violet. Okay, and then this last one, honest to God, pains me. But I need to be realistic with myself. So this is the lug camper. And this is in the Botanical Multi Print, which is one of my all-time favorite prints from Lug. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. It's that teal with the navy and the pink and white on this gray background. And it is just beautiful. Like, it is, I would give anything if they would bring this, not anything, that is not true. That's such an exaggeration. But I would be ecstatic if they would bring this print back because it is so incredibly pretty. The camper is just not a bag style that works out for me the best and I went to the ends of the earth to hunt this down and I used it once. But I do have another bag in this exact print that I also hunted down that it, it works better for me. So, I'm not going to just leave this one sitting in my collection being unused when I know how gorgeous this bag is and someone else could get way more use out of it than me. So, the camper is an awesome, super functional, organized bag. If we start at the top up here, you have a really nice, large, soft line cell phone pocket. And then beneath that, we have two zip pockets. So, you have one here. And then one here. And this bottom one, again, is soft lined. And then on each side, you have a slip pocket. Like a big cargo slip pocket. And then if we flip it to the back, you have another zipper pocket right here. Did I just zip that up? I did. So inside this one you get the key bungee which I actually really like about this bag because it separates your keys into a different outside pocket so they're easier to get to instead of having to dig them out of the you know the center and then if we get to the main area of the bag there's so much organization in here so against the front wall of the bag I think this was a smart choice as well you just have one large clear view zip pocket. 
so you can see my finger through there. That is just one large uh, clear view. And I think it was smart that they only put that one pocket there because you have all these zip pockets on the front, so it's not so much fighting for space. But on the back of this bag, you have a smaller zip pocket here, and that is another clear view pocket. And then you have two stacked pockets right here. And in this one, you have two little pen slip pockets, if you can see that. And then again, there are the tags that go with this one. I hunted this down. It was brand new with tags. I cut them off. I used it once and then never went to it again. Strap is not removable on this one, but it is fully adjustable and it is long enough to go across the tallest or biggest person for sure. You have the four plastic feet on the bottom. Again, there are the corners. No wear, no issues, no stains, nothing. This bag is in pristine, like new condition. And I wish I made that I could make this one work better for me because I adore this print again. But I can't, so I would love to see it go to a new home where someone else will love it and appreciate it. So that is the Lug Camper in Botanical Multi. Okay, now let's get into the Vera Bradley. I have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I think I have nine Vera Bradley items all together. The first two are kind of like accessory pieces and then the rest are handbags. So the first one is this little, I cannot remember what they call these on the factory side, but it's the all-in-one thing. So this one is in Charmont Meadow, and I checked the outside really, really good. I don't see any kind of wear or anything, but there's one little spot right there, if you can see it. And I think that that's actually a little glue spot. It's like tiny and you can barely feel it, but it was there when I first got it. So I just want you to be aware of that. So this is the all-in-one type item from the factory. You have the snap flap on the front. There's your longer adjustable removable crossbody strap. And there is your wristlet strap, which is also removable. This one is just a large snap pocket. And then behind that, you get two zip sections. The first one is your wallet section. It is RFID protected. You have a bunch of card slots, two slip pockets behind on each side, and then your bill slip at the top. And then the back zipper section, you just have like a coin zip pocket in the middle there. And that is it. It's a pretty simple little piece, but they're really, really functional. I just very rarely ever use them, so. And this one did get one little tiny bee in the corner. So that is the factory style all-in-one in Charmant Meadow. The next Vera Bradley piece is this laptop something. I don't remember what they call it, but it'll be listed in the description box according to its number. I think it goes in this corner. Um, but this is the laptop thing in Bonbon Medallion. This print is super, super pretty. No wear on the corners, no stains, no issues anywhere on this one. It is in great condition. So at the top, you do get this handle that has a little, like a little strip of the faux leather across the top of it but it will pull out a little bit. It has some elastic to it. On the front down here at the bottom, you get the little Vera Bradley emblem. And right here on the front, you get a really large zip pocket. And I know it's gonna be hard to see, but down inside here, you get one large slip pocket that you could fit like a wireless mouse in. And then right beside it right here, you have a bunch of pen slips. So you have one here, one here, and one here. So there's three pen slips right there. 
and then you just have a ton of space in there to put other things. And then your main laptop sleeve section is right here across the back. And it's enormous. So it does have a little bit of padding on each side to protect your laptop. And I think this will hold up to a 15 or 16 inch laptop. I'm not 100% sure, but this is the same as the current model that they sell. So if you want to find out for sure, just check the website. It'll tell you uh, the largest size that this will hold. But again, this is in perfect condition. No issues, no wear, no stains, nothing. I just literally have never used it. So that is the second Vera Bradley piece, and the rest of these will all be handbags. All right, the first little Vera Bradley bag up for grabs is my little mini Emma Satchel in the black leather with the blue trim and the gold hardware. So I just showed this recently. I do keep it stuffed just to help hold its shape. This is a small bag. So keep that in mind. If you're not a small bag person, this is probably not going to be the best for you. This is all leather. It's in beautiful con condition. It doesn't have any corner wear that I can see. I mean, it could probably use a good conditioning, but it's, it's in great shape. There's no wear on the handles. They're in perfect condition. It does come with the longer adjustable removable matching strap and this is a three section bag I still have the corner stuffed but you have one magnetic section here another magnetic section on the back and in that one you have a zipper pocket I don't think this front section has any additional pockets no and then the center here is a zip section and you get three card slots in there if you can see those so one two and th three if you can see where my fingers are at so this is a super cute little leather Vera Bradley bag it's just too small for me you guys like I just can't make it work but if you are a small bag person then it'll work fine for you. So, this is the first one, my Vera Bradley Mini Emma Satchel. All right, the next Vera Bradley bag to go is gonna be my reactive on the go in the itsy ditsy floral pattern. I think this pattern is super, super cute, and I have used this bag a few times. It's just not my favorite, and I haven't pulled it out to use it in probably close to a year so I know someone else can make better use out of it than I can so I'll give you a view of the bottom first again this one has no wear no issues no stains no anything this reactive material is pretty robust and pretty hardy I can say that for sure so this pattern if you're unfamiliar does have like the little butterflies in it I'm not sure if it has any other little critters or creatures, but it definitely has these little butterflies. So this is an on-the-go, but this will hold more than the on-the-go in the cotton or the performance twill. This one has a significant amount of space to it, in my opinion. So along the front here, you get that really large zip pocket, and this does have those chunky reactive zippers. <laughs> On each end, like usual with an on-the-go, you have your slip pockets on each end that, again, will hold your standard 16.9 ounce water bottle. On the back, you don't have any pockets, you just get the pattern. There's another one of those little butterflies. Your strap is not removable, but it is adjustable. And then on the inside, you have your two-in-one standard configuration, but it's a little bit different. So along the back, you get your zipper pocket there. And there is the Vera Bradley tag for the reactive material that tells you how many of the recycled water bottles went into this bag. 
And then along the front, you do get two large slip pockets. But since this is reactive, they are mesh slip pockets. But they're pretty big and they have a little bit of elastic at the top. Other than that, you just have a ton of space in here. Like I said, this is an on-the-go, but this one does hold more than the cotton or performance twill on the goes, in my opinion. So, that is the next bag to go. The Vera Bradley Reactive on the go in Itsy Ditsy Floral, which again is in perfect condition. It's getting harder and harder every time I do one of these kind of decluttering around, y'all. It really is, like... I still need to make more room and get rid of more handbags and things like that, but it, it gets harder every single time I do this because <laughs> we're getting down to handbags that I kind of don't want to let go of, but I need to because I'm not using them. So this is the next one to go, and I believe that this was called the Triple Compartment Shoulder Bag, I think. If that's not the correct name for this one, then... It'll be listed according to its number in the description box, like the rest. So, this is in French Paisley, which is a gorgeous pattern. And I do have a couple of other items in it. I have a tote bag. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but right here, I have a large cosmetic in this same pattern. So, I haven't used this one. I used this. I purchased this when it first came out. I used it once and I haven't touched it since. So I know I'm not going to use it. So this is kind of layers and layers of organization if you're unfamiliar with this one. So this is a shoulder bag and I'll show you where it hits on me just in case you're curious. So it has a good drop to it. It's not up in your armpit at all. It's got a really nice drop. It's really comfortable. You can still throw it over the crook of your arm if you want to. So, if you're unfamiliar, this is the pattern that has the little birds all in it. So, it's hard to see. But like, right here's one. And I can't look at this through the camera lens and see anything. This one's a Where's Baldo of the birds, but I'm not sure. But... There's definitely one right there. So on the front of this bag, you get a magnetic slip pocket that is fairly large. And then directly behind that, oh, your straps are also on these little hardware bits, so they will lay down flat for you. But you have your magnetic slip pocket right on the front. And then directly behind that, you have another large magnetic pocket and inside this one, you have a zipper pocket. So, the zipper's right there. I just opened it to show y'all. So, you get a nice large zipper pocket. And then on the opposite side, there's nothing. So, you just have the large open space. And then directly behind that, you have a nice large zip compartment. I don't think there are any pockets in it. No, it's just one large zipper pocket, and it does have double zipper pulls on it, so you have one there, and one there, and this does zip down about halfway on each side, so you have really good access, and then directly behind that, you have another large open magnetic pocket, no other pockets inside that one. And then on the back, you have that kind of like cell phone slip pocket. So this is designed like a triple compartment or triple section bag. So let me zip this middle up and I'll show you. So across the top, everything is magnetic, if you can see there. But if you look at it like this, you have magnetic section, zipper section, magnetic section. And these are your three larger main pockets with the center zip pocket being your largest pocket. And then on the front again, you have that large magnetic pocket. And on the back, you have the cell phone slip. So like I said, I used this one once. I'll show you the corners. There's no wear, no issues, no stains. 
there's nothing. This one again is in like new condition. So that's the Vera Bradley triple compartment shoulder bag, I believe, in French Paisley. Okay, up next for the Vera Bradley bags I'm getting rid of is the convertible small backpack in the Performance Twill Black. So, I do still have the tag for this one. I just stuck it in the zipper pocket inside here. So, I guess we'll start on the inside on this one. On the interior of this, you get a little key leash that hangs down. And then you have one zip pocket that goes all the way across the back. And all the way down to the bottom. So, that's a pretty decently deep zip pocket. There are no pockets on the front side of this one. You just get the interior space, the zip pocket, and the lanyard on the inside. On the front, you have no pockets. The main section does have a double zipper pull. And you do have the little grab handle at the top. On each side, you have a small slip pocket that will hold a tr like your traditional regular 16.9 ounce water bottle. You can get one of those in on the side pockets. Now, on the back, as you can see, I did modify this bag to fit my own personal needs. So, when this bag came to me, these backpack straps were not removable. They were clipped right here. They were fixed in place. You could not take them off. I cut that off so that I could fold these straps up and tuck them into this pocket on the back. Because you do get a slip pocket right here along the back. And I did not want the backpack straps hanging down when I would try to use this as a shoulder or crossbody bag because it does come with a shoulder strap that is removable. It's not long enough to go crossbody, but it is a shoulder strap. Any black strap would go with this if that if you want to put it on there and that's what I did, but I do have the shoulder strap that comes with this and that will be included obviously. But even with this at its shortest setting, so it's at the shortest setting right now, when it was connected and you would try to use it as a shoulder or crossbody bag, you had those backpack straps that would hang down and it drove me crazy. So I cut the original rings off of it so that I could fold this up and tuck these into the back pocket right here. Now, Granted, when you do this, you know, you're kind of making use of this back pocket where you're not really going to be able to fit a whole lot else into it. Like, I can still get my hand in there, but it's pretty snug. But I changed it so I could tuck those straps in there. That way, if I wanted to use it as a crossbody or shoulder bag, those little backpack straps weren't dangling down. But I left the D-rings on there so that it could, well, I put different D-rings on there so that I could still connect it. So you just twist them around. Slide them up in there. And the backpack strap is connected back to the bag and still functions completely normally. You can still adjust it. I literally just made it detachable. But this is not the original way that this bag was designed. In my personal opinion, I do think that this is how it should have been designed where these straps were detachable. But it wasn't so... I did modify and change this bag, so just keep that in mind if you're interested in this one. Otherwise, I used it once. It is literally brand new. There are no 
worn spots, no damage, no stains, nothing. It is brand new. So this is the convertible small backpack in Performance Twill Black that I modified. So just keep that in mind if you are interested in this one. But again, it's in like brand new condition. With the modifications, just please remember that I modified it. Some people may look at that as a plus. Some people may not like that. So I just want to make it abundantly clear that I did change these straps. Okay, three more to go and we'll be done. And these last three are all brand new with tags. So the first one is the Beer Bradley factory style small beer tote. And this is in the watercolor floral print. I think this is super, super, super cute. This is in the ultralight fabrication. If y'all remember, I purchased two different bags in this pattern because I couldn't decide which one I wanted more. I decided to keep the other one. So this is brand new. It is shoulder strap only. There's where it falls on me. You have one pocket right here in the front. It is a zip pocket. No pockets on the back, but again, this is the ultra light fabrication. So super lightweight, water resistant, like weather resistant. Brand new with tags. They're still attached. And then on the inside, you get your traditional six slip pockets that go all around the perimeter. So three on each side. Super pretty bag. Love the print on this one. Brand new with tags. Vera Bradley factory style. Small Vera in the watercolor floral print in the ultralight fabrication. This next one again is brand new. never used. I did remove the straps just to put them up elsewhere, but this is the factory large go ahead convertible crossbody in stellar paisley. So this is like the factory style version of the on the go. So you get your really large zip pocket across the front and I've mentioned this before but one thing that I love that they did with this pattern is that they put this kind of purpley gray interior on it so it wasn't just a solid black interior it's a lot easier to see with this gray but you get this really large zip pocket on the front you have a slip pocket here on each end and then this one comes with a shoulder strap and a longer adjustable removable crossbody strap. They are both completely removable because Vera Bradley got wise and put the um, quick release O-rings on these bags now. So I do have the shoulder strap and the longer um, crossbody strap that goes with this one. Those are obviously coming with the bag. And again, this one is brand new with tags, never used. You get, um, on the inside you have your standard two-in-one. So, two slip pockets and one zip pocket. These are awesome bags, but this is another style that I have a ton of. I have six or seven of these right now. And I've never used this one. I love a good black and white pattern. But I have a ton of bags in black and white. And I've never used this one. And I've had it for quite a while. So figured someone else could get some better use out of it than I could. But again, this one is the factory go-ahead convertible crossbody in Stellar Paisley. Brand new with tags, never used. Okay, and then this last one I really debated letting go of, but I've had it forever, 
and I've never used it and I have to be realistic with myself and I, I know that I'm not going to use this bag. It's just not my style. I purchased it because I like the style of the bag, but I know I'm not going to use it. So this one again is brand new with tags, never used, and the, uh, it is the Disney Large on the Go. So this one is in Mickey's Paisley Celebration. I will show it to you because I do recall that this has really good placement and this bag style is awesome. I purchased this because I do like the pattern, like the background pattern. I love those blues and purples and I think it's so incredibly pretty, but I just don't wear Disney bags. I, I just don't and I knew that. So when I purchased this, I don't know what I was thinking, but I picked it up. So the strap is still wrapped up. It is not removable, but it is fully adjustable. And this is a large bag. So across the front here, let me pull this out before I end up getting it tangled. So across the front, you get a huge zipper pocket. I love the interior on this pattern too. It's so pretty. So you get that huge zipper pocket across the front. On each end, you get a nice large slip pocket. On the back, you get a really large magnetic pocket. That is magnetic, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's magnetic. And then the interior the interior of these bags is awesome so against the front wall right here you get two really nice large slip pockets against the back you get a really nice large zip pocket and then on each end I think this light is helping you guys. I really do. But on each end in here, you get another slip pocket that has some elastic around the top, if you can see that. So right here. So you have one on that end. And then you get another one on this end. So you have organization around the entire interior of these bags. They're awesome bags. They really, really are. I love the way that they designed these because you get so much organization. Now let me show you the, the placement on this one. For somebody that really doesn't do Disney, I got extremely lucky on the placement. So right here on the front, almost dead center, you have a Mickey. You have another Minnie right there. A little bit of her head got caught, but not too bad. You have another Mickey here. Right up here you get Minnie and Mickey's little face. You get Minnie again. But check this out. So on this pocket, on this end, you get a nearly perfectly centered Minnie and Mickey together on that pocket. On the other end, on this pocket, you get almost another perfectly centered Minnie and Mickey. Like, honestly, what are the odds of that, y'all? And then on the back, you almost get even better placement. So you have Minnie again, Minnie and Mickey, 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 Minnie. Like, the placement on this one was just crazy good. I couldn't believe it. But yep, this is the last Vera Bradley bag that I'm letting go of for now. Like I said, it's getting harder and harder each time I try to do a declutter because I'm getting down to the bags that I know I'm not using them, so I don't know why I'm keeping them. But at the same time, there's a part of me that does kind of still want to keep them. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? That's everything for this round of decluttering, y'all. 
as I mentioned at the beginning, if you are interested in anything, I will have my email listed in the description box and all of the items will be listed according to their number on screen, whichever corner it goes in. I will have the price out from that. If you are in the continental U.S., then that price includes everything. Shipping, any PayPal fees, all of that. It's all in that price. It's all inclusive. I have the straps for all of these bags. They are all in perfect condition. There are no issues with those. The bags are all pretty much in perfect condition unless I showed you some issue otherwise. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. And I am also going to link my first two decluttering videos and I will list whatever was left from those videos in the description box underneath all of the new items as well. That way if you miss those and you're interested in any of those items that were left, you can take a look at those as well. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you're interested, just email me. I'll get you my PayPal. You pay, I'll get it shipped out. So if you guys have any comments, questions, or you just want to say hello, then as always, please feel free to leave me a comment below because I love to chat with you guys. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.